Greetings nerdy list aficionados and welcome back to Top 10 Nerd and it's time to talk titans and trailer hype. So we're going to take this from a half things you missed and part pondering perspective. Basically what people would like from this season since full disclosure this trailer was pretty blatant in what it showcased. For some who are completely new to titans there may be some huh moments but in general pretty cut and paste. I don't say that like it's a bad thing, though I will forever question the outlets who said that Raven's wig was good. I'm Sasha and these are the top things you missed in the titans season 2 trailer. There are not 10. Crypto. When Superboy is spotted in the trailer, it is touching the dog tag of Crypto, the super dog, a nice homage to Superman's history. Crypto first debuted in Adventure Comics number 210 back in 1955, and he was originally Kal-El's dog as a toddler. This is his first origin. And he too was sent to Earth in a rocket, but was off course, so he didn't reunite with Clark till he was a teenager. Crypto was actually on two superhero pet teams, the League of Super Pets and the Space Canine Patrol Agents. Crypto was retconned out of existence in Crisis on Infinite Earth so that Clark could once again be the last Kryptonian. It kind of kills the pathos when he has cousins and pets and enemies all from Krypton. He would be reintroduced in the 2000s, and this is the version most people know and like. Yes, a superpowered dog is a little silly, but it's also fun. Will Crypto fit into this grimmer Titans verse? Crypto can belong wherever he needs to. Are you excited for Crypto? Do you need a spin off Space Canine Patrol Agent show? Asking for a friend. Next up, Ravager. Briefly in the trailer, we are granted a glimpse of Ravager, aka Rose Wilson, who is sporting an eye patch. So this may be the version who gouged out her own eye, or maybe Deathstroke gouged it out. Rose Wilson is the daughter of Deathstroke, and initially he attempts to train her as his protege, only to be horrified when she joins the Titans. He has a complicated relationship with the Titans. In the first ever issue, his son dies fighting them. He's lost two kids that way, and Starfire killed his ex. Rose could bring an interesting dynamic to the team, but also raises a pertinent question. There are only 11 episodes, and we're introducing a lot of a lot. Can it be done? We'll have to wait and see. Which actually leads well into amusing our next point, the team together. One of the critiques of season one was that the team didn't really come together until the very end, and only briefly, and they were hoping for a bit more in the collaboration department. Some action scenes from this trailer and an intense computer scanning scene make some believe we'll have more of that this time around, or at least they hope so. Not all series can support a higher episode count, but I feel like Titans could have had a classic 20 22 or at very least 18, and it would still have been okay. There's a lot of material here to work with. Speaking of material, will Dick become Nightwing this season? The fans are waiting. We want Nightwing. Dick becoming Nightwing is a core moment of the Titans, and him and Bruce are on the outs enough for it. He burned his costume dramatically, so come on, it's time. Jason is Robin, just let it happen. I just really want to see how the costume looks. On the topic of costumes, we have Wonder Girl Donna Troy rocking one of her classic costumes from the new Teen Titans era, the red and gold. It was a big deal when she got this costume, a good update. She went from her really girlish sidekick costume to this. That had happened earlier though. Wonder Girl had quite the journey to becoming a character with a clear path. And that path is still difficult due to her accidental origin, a direct result of Frederick Wortham's infamous seduction of the innocent, aka him projecting his very specific sexual concerns onto comic book characters and then telling you why your kids shouldn't read them. So not that different from today then I guess. Donna in this series seems to have a bit of a complicated relationship with her superhero identity, which is fitting. It's just nice to see her. She was such a core member of the team and was ignored for so long. She's interesting. Power through that confusion. Who is Donna Troy? She's a core member of the Titans. That's who she is. Still on looks, Raven's Ruby. In season two, Raven is looking more like the classic renditions of her character, though the closest to her 2003 Teen Titans animated version, which is arguably the most iconic one. The Ruby is a channeling agent, so it harkens to Raven having more control over her abilities. Always a good thing. This way, she won't wreck Dick and Starfire's wedding. It's always fun to see classic looks. Not all work, but hey, still fun to see. What some are pondering after this trailer is will there be two teams, the Titans and the Teen Titans? Since while the series is called Titans, and lots of the members are, let's face it, not teens. But they weren't teens in the 80s run either for most of it, but I digress. Some feel, since everything is moving so quickly, that coupled with some of the lines in the trailer about the next generation of Titans, and Bruce ribbing Dick about members of the team new and old, that we'll see two iterations. Which would again be a lot of a lot. 11 episodes. But we shall see. Trailers have lied before. Which leads us to the final ponderance, and one people are arguing about from the trailer. And that is, was there a time skip, 
and did they deal with Trigon in that time skip? People are looking at the hairstyles, all the characters, and just feel that maybe there was a time skip, and not an insignificant one, while others feel that maybe the trailer is being very strategically cut to not give anything away, and that maybe some of this is still a fantasy sequence, as we were shown Trigon could do that quite convincingly. How would you feel if there is a time skip? Would you be mad? I'm trying to keep myself on a bit of a media blackout, because well, I like this show and want to just experience it, but that probably won't happen. I already have to wait, because we're in Canada. Are you excited for Titans? Share all your thoughts and theories down below. Did the trailer pump you up, or are you one of those people who's like, the wigs, the effects? Share, share. And also, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more nerdy lists. I'm Sasha, thanks so much for watching, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.